That doesn't make any sense. No, that, that's actually an interesting point. That's something to think about. So then, if God is the author of this stuff, why is God being inconsistent? Humans are inconsistent, but God can't be. That was his point. Uh, that could be my limited knowledge as well. So it's like, you know, if someone had more knowledge than me, they could probably have a better answer. But this is just based on my limited knowledge. But my, my problem with that is that then what really stops you from believing in any random religion if I can bring up a point that doesn't make sense in that religion and then you just say, well, it doesn't make sense me, but I'm sure someone will get it. Yeah, you could be a Hindu and just have the same mentality. Yeah, but the thing is, I'm talking like core beliefs. Like for us, it's belief Sharia in one God, belief. belief in one God, that God has no partners, right? He has no equal. But Satanists believe yeah, the same thing, so, so what? The is, it's part of Tawheed to believe in the Sharia if you were to rule other by the Sharia, that's Shirk, correct? So I already told you, I don't believe you're sincere. So. But, uh, why? Yeah. You insulted me, I still haven't insulted you. You actually made fun of my disability I and I've still been, I've been very sincere. I feel like you're just trying to avoid a difficult Sincerity just means honesty. And he's honest in his dislike, for example, of the Sharia. So, I mean, he's sincere yeah. in that regard. I haven't been dishonest, haven't lied. I've been, honestly, I feel like you guys don't didn't come here to be challenged, and I don't know why you came to a space if you don't want to be challenged. That's what we do here, we challenge people. I thought you no, guys were kind of like, you know, Islamic here. lions. No worries, you know? no worries. So so I just, the, yeah, like like I said me, to me, I mainly just have conversations. I'm not necessarily... Uh, yeah, so ha have the conversation. Yeah. So we, we know a, a little bit about your faith. We're telling you it's inconsistent. Your faith uh, holds that it comes directly from God. And so we just hold that God has to always be logical. Because if God is not always logical, then we can see the implementation of that, for example, in his creation. Wouldn't you say we Which have a different logic? idea of logic? If, logically, I don't believe God to be human. Okay. Logically, you know What's God your idea of logic? Human. And I just know that. Something that just makes sense. You know, that's, something not, that's, 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 not, that's not logic. Logic is the three classical laws of reasoning, law of non-contradiction, law of identity, and law of excuse the middle. Now, the hypostatic union, Christ, the person of the word, taking on a second nature and being incarnate, doesn't contradict any laws of logic. Yes, yeah. you can demonstrate how. Otherwise, the belief does not remain illogical. You could say, hey, I don't believe in that, but the constant claims that Christian doctrine is illogical, it's actually just false and dishonest if you don't even actually know the basics of logic. You're just saying it to be rhetorical. That's dishonest. So if anyone's being not honest in this conversation, doesn't seem to be me. To prove it's illogical, you have to point out what about it fails the rules of logic that he mentioned. But yeah. but we, we've been at this for 2,000 years and nothing about it fails logic. It's just a case where you have a view where your God is one person and we have a view where he's three. That's all. Yeah. yeah and, and then the Quran says that, you know, you have your religion, we have our religion. So yeah, it is what it is. You know, I, I don't really care to convert you. Like, that's not. Well, that's what you do though. You convert people. No, I don't. You are a da'i. Yeah, I simply just relate the message to the people who want to. So what's the sort of thing you would say to a Christian to convince them then? What's your normative I, I, I don't believe in trying to convince people. Then what's well, what would you say to a Christian period? To a Christian period then, yeah. That worship one God. If you worship one God, inshallah, you know. But we're already doing that. I worship one God. So is, is, that, is that all it says? Because like the Hindus worship one God too. Yes, they have manifestations of their God, which are effectively the same, similar to your, the attributes of Allah, except they believe in, for example, uh, visualizing what they look like. But ultimately, they believe in the one supreme God. So do Zoroastrians and many pagans. It's like worship one God without no partners, without no equals. If someone does do, it, do that, then me personally, I believe that God will guide them and Allah, you know, define a, define a partner for us. Yeah. Define a partner for us. That right. God has no equal. He's absolutely one. We agree. God is absolutely one and has no partners. We agree. Okay, the, Father, Allah, the, Allah. Son, the Son and the Spirit are not partners. They are the same God as the Father. That's cool, man. So, inshallah, everything works out for you. But the Quran doesn't believe that, though. The Quran means the explicit claim that we believe in three gods. It says, do not say three. three. Because Allah is well, one God. But, but there's different uh, forms of Christians as well. Like, for instance, the brother over there is a Unitarian. He doesn't believe the same that you believe. He's not he Christian. He wouldn't be a Christian in that sense because anyone, you gotta believe who that. Denies yeah. Those who the Trinity is laid out are nice in Constantinople Creed. Call them a kufar if you like. In the same way you would a Shia or a Sufi or whatever. I, according to me, I would say that he's more of a Christian. Yeah, but but what, what are you using to, to like say yeah, that, right? So, so like, like what, what is it that you know about Christianity that makes you think that believing that Christ isn't God justifies you being a true Christian? Is this something that the apostles said? 
that the early fathers said that Jesus said himself? I just, I believe that if God was a human, that's a weak God. So I like, for me, so? I can't worship something that's weak so? or something that's similar to me. Wait, that wait. Just, I don't believe that deserving are you, worship. Okay. Are you, I'm just like mentally, I feel like it's a blockade that doesn't okay. allow me so to do. I, I think it's simple. The blockade is just in the understanding. We don't say that God is a man. That's not our point. We're just telling you that the eternal word of God, who is a person or a reality of God, momentarily, for a time in human history, took on the form of flesh. So that doesn't transform God into a man. Yeah, the divine nature has not changed. But do you see like the way the Christians talk, right? Like yep. you guys talk in a very riddle, like like you guys talk in a very confusing manner. It's okay. not very clear. What, are, what did I say? So tell me tell me the thing in my sentence that I was wrong, and then I'll repeat yeah, it again. But like you see like oh there's uh, you know three persons yeah? and these like I'll look, explain just now what you said. You said God wasn't a man, God existed through the form of a man. Can't you say that, like, that's every not person quite what I said. Every, that's, what the, you, so that's, I, the, that's the that's the part I'm saying I it's said, confusing. I'm trying to explain so like God is not a man. When I say he's not a man, I mean in the essence of God, in God's existence. It is not the existence of, uh, in a manly form. However, for essence for, and the person. Can I also yeah. just it wait? But you, like, in Arabic, you guys also have all of your terms, and I'm supposed to like, like listen to all of your terms and repeat also, them back to you. So these would be like so you, you have terms like a hakika and and, and kefia and, and tawil. I, I, I wouldn't talk to you with those terms if that's not like your thing. Very well then. All right, well, let me remove them completely. Yeah. Right? We're saying because obviously you're talking to non-Christians. So fine. Talking in Christian terms is like God has confused. three substances. The no, Father, no, no, Son, and no, Spirit. No, I can't no, use that one. No substances. Yeah. that's what I'm talking about right no, there. No, no, that's just a, <laughs> that's what I mean. Substance is the essence. Yeah, yeah, but uh, but you can so you use it interchangeably at times, right? But I'm, sometimes you can be using it. Mm. I've seen it interchangeably, but I, 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 no, no worries. But effectively, what I'm trying to do is use a word for them that isn't technical at all. Yeah. There are three. Because if I say persons, they'll persons. think they'll think about three people. Persons and three okay. No, no. That, that's said, the yeah. That's what he's talking about. So I'm removing the the terminology completely and using regular English. So it's fine, three persons. Yeah, but wouldn't, yeah. You, wouldn't you say that's the best way to convey to people who aren't Christian? Like, if Potentially. I, yeah, like I, if, I'm not perfect. So if, if, if you don't get it, tell me and I'll, I'll remove them. No worries. Yeah, like, so fine. It's like, as, as a Muslim, I wouldn't uh, like, you know, explain like okay. a bunch of Muslim terms. To My bad then. Muslim. Okay. No, no, I'm just, because I, like, I, I want to like, obviously help you do okay. thing too. You know? Okay, fine. Yeah. So God exists as three persons, but all three persons are equal to the one God. That's our, our major belief. And what we have in the person of Christ is, um, for example, if you have a Quran, right? The similar idea is in the Quran. You can pull it out if you want to see. If you go to Surah 19, right? The one they don't have to marry. You will see a point where Gabriel comes to marry and the Quran says, in the form of a man. So that idea is kind of there in the Quran, right? And effectively, that's what we're saying about the one of the persons of God, that he did that same thing that Jabril did. He came in the form of a man, but in the form, not as a, like, like an image, but a fully formed man. So in, in every sense, he was a man. But the all-powerful God yep. coming in the form of a man, yep. like, you don't think that's limiting God? So we're not saying that he condensed mm. himself yes. into a man. We're just saying that he created the body of a man and that in that body of the man dwells both the divine nature, which cannot be contained, and the nature of a human being like me and you. Yeah, so both of them... Sub but you see, that, that's confusing. Man. It's, it's not, it's not. It was one last thing, one last thing. It's not because both of you believe that you are both a physical body and have a spirit or a soul that is non-physical. But then why would you pray? If, 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 if you're saying that, if you're saying that Jesus is not that God existed through Jesus, why are you praying to yeah. Jesus? Why See, not just pray to God? This is what I wanted to... He is equivalent, yeah? To know. So, no, no, we're going We say the word becomes incarnate. He already has one nature, the divine nature that... Can you speak up? Okay, okay. I said, so Christ, before his incarnation, has one nature, the divine nature, and he's one person. <laughs> through the incarnation, he takes upon himself externally, extrinsically, a second nature. That nature, a human nature, has a body and a soul that is united to him as a person. Think of it this way. There's one person, two natures, two wills, two actions in a sense, right? So what we're saying is that external to the person, he is united to this human nature. You're not answering my question. 
why not just pray to God? Why are you praying to Jesus? Jesus is God. So, Jesus is equivalent to God, right? You know how I said that there was one God and three persons, and all the three persons are equivalent like to one God? It doesn't sound like it's equivalent God. if God temporarily existed through a human body. That's not equivalent. So it is that's a, something that's that's temporary so versus God that's I was eternal. I was going to give the example of you as a human being. You're both physical and non-physical. Physical by your flesh, non-physical by your spirit or soul, right? But somehow, in you, both things exist simultaneously without contradicting. So in that same sense, God came down in the form of a man and is temporal or human by his human nature, but is still divine by his divine nature. So why and are you praying to his man form and not just God himself? Right, so we're not saying we're praying to his man form, but in the you man say Jesus form. Jesus, the way, the truth, the light. Absolutely. I praise Jesus, you pray to absolutely. Jesus. Yes, we pray to Jesus who is equivalent to God, right? So when we direct our why, prayers why to... Why don't you skip the simple equivalency and just pray to God? Because, because he, he told us to do that, right? So he told us, so when he was asked to how, how do you pray? He t he told his disciples to pray to the Father. To pray to the, the Father. But additionally to that, there's two parts you guys missed. I noticed quite a bit. He also said that you could ask him, Jesus, for anything in his name, and he would give it to you. Okay. Right. And the last part is we uh, we also say in, in the New Testament that God is spirit, and we worship him in spirit and in truth. So to complete the formula, you pray to the Father, but you do that through the Son. Is the Holy Spirit in the power? Is the Holy Spirit in the power of spirits? Yeah, yes. The Holy Spirit. So why do you, why do you pray to Jesus? But why don't you pray to the Holy Spirit? We, we say we pray, pray the Holy in the power of a spirit. The Spirit enables us to pray to, 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 to pray, Jesus. I wake up, yeah. Have a morning prayer, there you go. And, I say, I say and you the worship Lord, the nope. Holy Spirit. Yeah. The Lord and Giver of. Because don't forget, Absolutely. God is equivalent to all three persons. So if you worship any person, you're worshiping God. Well, why do they? Why do you guys say praise Jesus, but you don't say praise Holy Spirit? We do. You can say that. Who says pray Holy Spirit? It, so it doesn't matter what people Nobody's say. Nobody's ever said that. Yeah, so no, they do wrong. say that. There's no Christian who's ever said Holy Spirit. Orthodox, That's not true. In the divine liturgy of the Orthodox Church, multiple times they stated, for thine is the power, the kingdom of the glory of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Spirit. So it's stated for 2,000 years in our liturgy. Right, but not solo. You're not saying praise Holy Spirit alone. Well, we do. We have it's, a prayer. I have a morning prayer in my Orthodox prayer book by us, the Holy Spirit, Lord and Giver of life, to come dwell in me and cleanse me of all sins. I don't mention the Father. No, no, I joined the Orthodox team. But the is that there's plenty of instances in Christian history where we praise and pray to the Holy Spirit. That's completely normal. Even David does this. He says, I cast me not away from your presence, O Lord, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. So, yeah. Which we also so, say in the liturgy. We, 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 all, we all do that. I think you haven't got enough exposure to Christians, which is why well, no, you're... I, you're, I, you're I, grew up, I grew up in catechism, man. But I you don't know what happens. But, but, but then like, you, you don't know... Heard, you don't, orthodox. You don't know. No, it, it isn't. It isn't. And at least we never talk about that. Well, they believe in it. I that. think there's a problem then you weren't educated enough because yes. now what you've done is you have become a Muslim and you've surrounded yourself with Muslims right which is well, what you're Christians all the time but you every day you also roll around with Muslims a lot Muslims who are Actually, very very rarely that's but, not true but, but very for rarely. us the argument is that Christianity has nothing to offer a Muslim okay so I, that's, 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 I tell you it does here is why in your religion whether you like it or not, look into your sources, particularly in your Hadith books, particularly in Sahih Muslim, particularly but, but like, the in the Book the of Destiny. Let me show you. Muslims, you we believe we have all Muslim, of you are going to hell. You, and look, this isn't me saying this. This is what your book says. All of you are going to hell. And then Allah will fish you out of hell, one by one, depending on how, how righteous you are. And here's the worst part about it. You're not going to hell for something that you, you did. That. That's yeah. what it literally says. Look at Surah 19, verse 71. That's what it says right there. It it's in your Quran. Right? Christianity has to offer. Well, I'll, I'll pull it up. Right? Go for it. Go for well, it. I would say that has Can to speak? Isn't that what you believe? That no. you're, you're born with original sin and that if you don't repent, that you're going go yeah. to go to hell and then you be fished out. There's so, no. It sounds like you're describing We're not getting fished out. Health forever. Yeah, that's it. Once you're in, you're in. Bro. Yeah. But yeah, what's well, Christian? Not for you guys. Offer, it's sadly what well, you guys don't have the truth. So, so we the said, truth for life. Jesus Surah 19, verse 71. Is. Right now, your beliefs, respectfully, will not take you to paradise. It will not take you to eternal life. And because you take Jesus as your Messiah and as your prophet, you should listen to the words he actually said in the Bible instead of just claiming the crop with no evidence. Jesus Christ said he is the way, the truth, and the life. Which Bible? Any of them. 
that's a non question. That's not relevant, but we always say. Like, that's your wish Quran, and then, and then you just say you have the Quran. Books are not particularly relevant. The point is that Jesus Christ said one thing He's the way, the truth, and the life. In all no Bibles. No one gets to the Father except, except through, through Him. him. Yeah, you know, according to our beliefs, we believe that associate partners with God, which you define it that you do, right? Like, this whole idea of that, you know, someone being equal to God, that they're all equal and they're different persons and they have different names. Us, for, for us, that's like associating partners with God. Also, and and I just explained to you. But you have to you have to demonstrate that these are different gods which we're associating to the one God. That's what we do. Because we told you already, all three persons equal to the one God. So yeah, you, you, every time you, you have a criticism, you have to hold. That's what, what we believe, and not not the straw well, man you're trying to portray. I'm not here to try to criticize you and destroy. But no, no, I'm, I'm not saying destroy. But you have issues with Christianity. You do, right? As a Muslim, right? Exactly. But I, when I you do. I believe it makes sense. I, I, like, I believe I, I'm just asking though. you guys, what is it about it that doesn't make sense? Because every objection you Trinity, brought up... Mainly the Trinity, okay. the idea of the... Yeah, even even you just now, you're saying all three persons equal God. Yes. So that means God is a person because... Yes. Yes. Okay, I don't believe... God cannot be a person. Why that makes no sense. Wait, 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 so why can't God be a person? Because, because I'm going to answer you. Okay. I want you to say what's I want everybody else to say. I've there repeated is, this all the time. Give me a second. Yeah. Give me a second. Okay. This size. A second. This size. There is something bigger than the second. Yeah. You admit that the second is smaller than the bigger thing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. How you say this in English? A circle? No. A rectangle. Yeah. There is a rectangle. This. Bigger than the cycle, yeah? God is bigger than everything. Yeah? It's above everything. He's a creator of everything. How can he can be bigger than the cycle? The creator cannot be equivalent he to cannot, his creation. Exactly. Because we don't believe. Be just like Steve Jobs is not an iPhone. He, Got he it. cannot be inside the cycle because he We don't believe that He's God bigger. enters the circle. That's the problem. That's the part you guys don't get. That's the part you guys don't get. That's all fresh people. Yeah, I'm no, sorry, I'm sorry. I don't like no one. That's the part you guys don't get. We never said that God entered the circle. That's not what we said. So what do you say then? We're saying that God takes unto himself the form of a circle. But the actual bigness and transcendence of God doesn't change. God remains transcendent. It'd be because like I was saying to him. It's not a contradiction. The, no, no, it's no, not. Because the potency, the ability to change lays in the human nature, not in the divine nature. So the change lays in the humanity, not in the divinity. So the circle changes, not God. Exactly. That's what we believe.